with the rebrand and now when you see Brat's way you know neither Brat is behind that it just means the world to me because when I tell y'all I really took the time to you know figure this out to redo everything what's popping y'all it's your girl neither Brat but you know that and I'm back at it again with another video <laughs> um i was supposed to film a video of me packaging orders when i first had um reopened brat's way but the whole process was frustrating like it was <laughs> my printer wasn't working it was just a mess girl so um i'm actually about to show y'all how i package my orders this time around um give y'all a little bit of tea on like how my business went viral on tiktok um how my pre-orders were successful so this is pretty much going to be like a a chit chat package orders with me um if you guys are into that type of content make sure y'all stay tuned and if you're not subscribed to the channel girl what are you doing because if you're not a brat then why are you not what's going on like i'm gonna give you like you know five seconds to subscribe one two three four yeah girl you need to be subscribed okay period so yeah in today's video um it's gonna definitely be a chit chat um pack orders package orders with me i'm gonna tell you guys how i went viral on tiktok how to utilize tiktok i'm gonna try <laughs> my very best because y'all know when i package orders i feel like i talk more than me actually packaging them um so we're gonna figure out how this is gonna go i think i'm gonna write down everything that i want to talk about just so you know we're not all over the place you know what i'm saying um but yeah girl let's just get into the video oh before we do that make sure y'all go follow me on social media because y'all know y'all know the brand is out there and i also have an official amazon store yes your girl is finally a amazon influencer once again um i'm so excited about that so down below i will link my amazon my amazon store in the description box below so you guys can um pick up all of your entrepreneur needs your youtube needs or just some needs for you know just essential like you want to smell good look good feel good some book recommendations like my store is filled with a whole bunch of stuff girl and you're gonna love it there so you know um i will include that down below in the description box but anyway let's just stop talking oh wait no i ain't shout out my socials follow me on at instagram and hi the brat please go like my recent i will you know put everything over here um follow me on twitter and the brat add me on snapchat and i butte um follow me on tiktok because y'all know your girl is tiktok famous over there or whatever per um and make sure y'all go follow brats because this is the brats where i know it honey and that's on what that's on who that's on period Anna. okay okay and now <laughs> now let's get into the video and i hope you guys enjoyed this little chit chat package orders with me all right y'all so this is a little weird angle for me but i actually kind of i kind of fuck with it i'm not gonna lie so um like i said we are packaging orders girl i have all my packing slips and um packing slips and shipping labels printed out right here um before we even get into it i just want to thank you guys so much for shopping with me um at brat's way because you don't have to shop with me girl like and the fact that y'all are choosing to shop with me means the world to me um y'all know i love y'all so much i love when y'all support y'all don't even have to buy lashes to show your love and support for me you could just you know share a post or um tag me in a post or something you know you don't there are different ways to show support to small businesses and i appreciate y'all so much um i did have a giveaway winner um on tiktok so let's get into that so how i went viral on tiktok for brat's way um was pretty simple um let me just give you a little backstory so i'm not gonna lie um i've been sitting on brat's way inventory for i want to say a good i was sitting on it for like a good month almost uh last month um because i got everything in april and and by the time may came around it was really just um you know me executing it and things like that so um i had went to atlanta as y'all know um i went to nisha seminar i networked with a lot of good females um you know made some connections networked i even sold a couple pairs of lashes <laughs> um and it was just such a it was such a great and humbling experience i've never been to a uh, women's seminar that 
was so empowerful and just it you could just tell like those who are meant to be there were meant to be there um and yeah so I had you know sold a little bit of you know lashes there so then I'm like okay well my pre-orders is coming up now I'm not gonna sit here and lie to y'all pre-orders I definitely um I made money okay I'll show the receipt somewhere on the screen girl um but I had no promo I didn't promote it I started to promote it let me okay let me say this I promoted it but I didn't promote it en enough as I should have um and my advice to those who are just starting out don't be like me <laughs> I'm still new you know I'm getting the girls used to the you know the new rebrand you know getting my name back out there I do not recommend you not promoting yourself self promo is the best promo okay because nobody's gonna promote your brand like you no one's going to post your brand like you no one's gonna do it like you bottom line point blank period so um I promoted pre-orders you know just a little bit um and y'all also know that I'm a TikTok sensation I have gone viral uh, a thousand and one times I recently went viral last week um and hit 300k I gained a hundred thousand subscribers subscribers I wish <laughs> it's coming soon <laughs> um I gained over a hundred thousand followers on TikTok on my personal account and I'll put the proof here um but that's a whole separate video that I'll be talking about um but it ties into you know how I got Brad's way to go viral on there as well so um Anyways, like I was saying, so um, with me going viral on my personal page, I was like, well, you know what? Let me just promote my business on Bradsway. Like, I have a whole Bradsway account, and, you know, I'll post it somewhere on the screen. Make sure I go follow us on uh, TikTok as well, at Bradsway. Um, and I just never used it. Like, I did, you know, I never gone viral on there, and I was like, okay. Um, in order for my pre-orders, I said, this is like a last-minute thing, you know, let me try promoting my business on my personal page and then seeing, you know, if it'll bring some traction into Bradsway, girl. The moment I posted Bradsway, these new boxes, um, it went nuts. Like everybody was loving them. It went crazy. Um, I was making sales on live. Um, the goal was to get my, um, business page Bradsway on TikTok to a uh, 1,000 followers because once you hit 1,000 followers on TikTok, you can go live. Um, and I felt like it was important for me to be able to go live on my personal account and my business account just in case, you know, I'm going to do a tutorial, um, a story time or something like that. So, um, you know, I was excited. I was ready. Um, and, you know, I ended up hitting my goal within 24 hours um, by, just by promoting Bradsway on my personal page. Um, we're currently at, I want to say, three thousand nine hundred and eight sub subscribers followers right now on tiktok period um thank y'all so much y'all know i love y'all and i feel like because my fan base loves me so much on my personal page it was nothing for them to go support so yes we have a giveaway winner her name is naya i'll put her instagram somewhere on the screen and link it down below so y'all can go follow her um because the goal was whoever was my 1000th um follower on tiktok to help me go um live with my brand um would receive a free pair of lashes on me courtesy of Bratsway. and naya won she sent me her proof she was the thousandth follower and i appreciate you girl to this day because girl without you we wouldn't be able to go live okay um so i had a giveaway for that i also need to host a giveaway for youtube because we did just hit 2,000 subscribers and i i've only been on youtube for two years and granted i'm still nowhere where i want to be but just to see that my hard work is slowly starting to pay off and i'm getting where i want to go and you know having a supportive uh platform like tiktok that's really really helping me out and um giving me all these opportunities and blessings is just amazing like this time last year i was literally like you know into such a bad space and to just see how well god has blessed me and how well time has you know gone by since then it's just amazing um but that's a little backstory about that. Let me just shut up for a second and start packaging some orders. Um, I'm going to package Naya's order off camera because I didn't um, think to write down her address um, after I had screenshotted it. Because um, I don't have to, I can't make a label for that. I have to handwrite it. So, um, yeah. But let's, you know, package up this first order. Her name is, I don't want to butcher it. I feel like it's Gisela. Gisela, Gisela, however you pronounce it. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, girl, if you're watching this. Um, but thank you, girl, for purchasing from me. 
um, and shopping courtesy of Bradsway because it's the Bradsway No NS period. Um, she purchased Snob and Bougie. So let me show y'all. Here's my pink. Here are my new boxes. Don't do that. <laughs> and inside it says, fuck these niggas, take their money. And this is what Snob looks like. Snob is still available for purchase, so make sure y'all go shop Bratsway in the description box below, girl, because listen, I'm going to put up the inventory that I have left. Your girl's almost sold out. <laughs> Respectfully speaking, your girl's almost sold out, okay? <laughs> so, um, and here is Bougie. Super, super cute. I love Bougie. I've been wearing Bougie a lot lately. And yes, I put the sticker labels on the outside of the boxes. Just so, you know, when I do videos like this or just have an inventory and I just want to count it, um, I can count it by name instead of having to open it up and see like, oh, okay, well, that's this last. Well, it's easier for me to, you know, put it right here. Um, so I already have her bubble mailer prepared. On the back it says, thank you with her name on it. And it says Bradsway. Um, So we're going to put her lashes in here. And I don't know about y'all, but I love printing out packaging slips um, for my customers. I don't know, like just knowing that, just giving giving myself the confirmation of this is exactly what I ordered and I got what I ordered, you know, just, I don't know, satisfying to me. Here are our new business cards, girl. It says Brad Sway on the front. And then it has our Submark logo on the back with our TikTok, our Instagram at Bratsway for both of them. It says the Lash Dealer and then our website. Super, super cute. I literally made those cards in under 15 minutes on Fonto. When I get um when I get my Mac um and my camera, I will definitely show y'all how I um make business cards because I feel like that would be a really nice video to see. And to be honest, those business cards that I made that I just showed y'all look like I got them professionally made and girl, I made them for my phone. So um, as a free gift for all of my um, all of my brats that shop, y'all know that they get um, four uh, spoolies for their purchase because, you know, I just want to show a little appreciation, girl, because like I said, you ain't have to shop with me, you know. So I'm going to put her package and slip inside of her package as well. Um, and then we're going to seal her up, but yes, girl, um, I literally, so the reason why I ended up posting about Brad's way on my personal TikTok was because, um, I had went live the night before I had like a real long, nice heart to heart, um, with my followers on live and TikTok had banned my live for 24 hours until the following night. And the night of my, um, the night that my pre-orders were going to drop at 12 a.m., um, my live wasn't active. So I needed somewhere else to go live to, you know, do my little, um, you know, to promote my lashes and things like that. Last minute stuff. And her order is packaged, girl. Period. Thank you for shopping. This is what it's giving. And then her, um, I also keep um a personal packaging slip for me as well um just for bookkeeping purposes and also um i'm very organized like i love when i get orders and i could track them and things like that so what i'll do is i'll put a sticky note on here um when no i'll write on here when i personally ship it out because i like to abide by my shipping time um and then if i don't abide by my shipping time on my behalf i'll write that down on the um the packaging slip just so I know for next time, okay, girl, you need to be on your shit. Um, and then I'll put a sticky note when they'll receive it um, just so I can see like how long it took for me to send it off for them to get it and to see if it goes by my shipping times. Because then if it doesn't, then, you know, I need to figure out, you know, what caused that, um, what was going on, or if I need to increase or decrease my shipping times, if that makes sense. Um, but if y'all want a video on like how I keep my business organized, I can just do that for y'all make life easier. <laughs> um, so that goes her label. But yeah, so back to what I was saying about TikTok. So I was blocked on my TikTok on my personal account to go live. So I could not go live to promote um, my lashes like I wanted to. Um, and I didn't reach a thousand followers um, on my business TikTok until, you know, three o'clock in the morning. At that point, pre-orders are pretty much... 
everybody's going to sleep like pre-orders was at 12 um so i went live on my personal instagram to try to promote them but girl i was so done up uh, off the hookah and just vibing um and instagram kept deleting my lives because i was playing music that was copyrighted which is annoying and it's just an it's just annoying like you can't win on tiktok live you can't play or have too much cussing or do too much because they'll block your they'll block your live for 10 minutes or for 24 hours or they'll just get rid of it um then you go on instagram instagram you can only be live on there for an hour you got to be careful of what music you play because they will delete your live and they miss you being like like it's annoying like at this point i need to create a platform where I can do whatever the hell I want and please and just be myself and I don't have to get demonetized or suffer consequences because y'all can't handle a bad bitch like me, period. That's just that. Um, I just, um, I'm over it. It's, it's annoying. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, but yeah, so um, I tried to go live and then I wanted to go live on my business page on Instagram, but I don't have like a report there. So I definitely will start going live on there. Um, I just need to figure out what I want to talk about, what I want my lives to be about, because um, that's a whole nother industry. It's a lot going on, girl, behind the scenes, and trust me, um, I'm trying my very best to get it done. Um, but, you know, I did end up going live um, on my business page that night, so 3 a.m., you know, that night. Um, I went live a little bit, then I went live on my other page the following day. Um, it was just a lot, girl, but needless to say pre-orders were successful i've never that was my first time ever having pre-orders for brats way it did amazing um the girls cleared me out i had girls buying um all five pairs of lashes simultaneously um and these are new prices that i have so it was just like it was crazy like you know a lot of people were doubting me on facebook because i don't know if i told y'all i went viral on the facebook group i post a picture somewhere here on the screen i went viral on facebook and a lot of the girls in the comments that were hating on me or talking shit were pretty much saying, oh, well, the ratchet bitches that you're trying to attract, they're only going to pay $5. They're not going to want to pay or you're that type of money. You got to be realistic. You got to think bitches like that be hating respectfully. So I'm not going to sit here and take constructive criticism from a hating ass bitch. That's just something I'm not going to do. And that's just shit that y'all shouldn't do. Like... There are a lot of people that are out here hating on you and want you to stand, you know, within the norms of an industry. Listen, I'm trying to dominate the beauty industry, but also take it up a notch. Like, I don't understand why every industry we have has to be real polished, real sleek, real professional. Like, where's the raunchy shit at? Like, why are we always appealing to the professional eye? What the hell is professionalism any fucking way? Like, I'm not a professional bitch. I may seem like it to y'all. Y'all probably think I'm just some Harvard scholar girl. No. Y'all know I'm loud. Y'all know I cuss. Y'all know I'm transparent. Y'all know I just don't give a fuck, like, at all. So, I want to take it up a notch in the beauty industry. Like, I want to break all the rules. And, you know, I want to be known for breaking all the rules. But breaking all the rules in a good way. Like, I'm so tired of this professional and sleek shit. Like, all this black and white and dashes of color in the beauty industry. Like, I'm sick of seeing it. I'm tired of seeing it. So, if Bratsway will be the... No, Bratsway will be the first brand to break societal norms when it comes to this beauty shit. And remember this video when um, you come back to it and it's done. Because I said it here first. Um, what time is it? At 6.15 on the 9th of Jan January. The 9th of June. Period. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Like, you just... It's one thing to receive constructive criticism from somebody, but then it's another to just blatantly just be ignorant and just disrespectful because the product that I have is not targeting you. Like, girl, I don't give a fuck. You know how many females uh, were telling me that they weren't going to pay my new prices? First of all, my lashes used to be $10. Then um, I was trying to get them off my hands, so I had sold them for like $8. Um, and then at one point, I sold them for 5 but nobody wanted them for 5 So I'm like, okay, I'm never going to do this ever again. But I was like, if I do put my new prices in place, the price has to increase. Um, because, you know, there's some, I don't want to spill this tea. Yeah, because that's going to be for my business channel. Oh, and that's another thing. Make sure y'all subscribe to Bratz Way's um, beauty channel because that's going to be nothing but beauty and vlogs and behind the scenes tea and all that when it comes to Bratz Way. 
get us to a thousand subscribers and girl i would drop that first tutorial that everybody keeps asking me about okay um that'll also be down below in the description box girl um but you like we're no longer <laughs> We're no longer being professional when it comes to this beauty shit or any industry. If I'm, what did Nikki say? I don't even want to butcher her lyrics because I'm a barb and I know better. Um, but yeah, like we, we're not, I've always stood outside the box. One thing I could say about myself personally, I am a controversial marketer. Whenever I, you know, drop a product what that, you know, um deals in my business everybody's always talking about it everybody always got something to say it's always going viral i need to use that to my advantage and i will because i and you can't please everybody either that's another thing you being being in the in uh, entrepreneur will really open your eyes to a lot of things like it's not entrepreneurship is not for the weak like you, you can't be scared to make no money because scared money don't make no money. And that's just that. Like you really just have to go out and do it on a whim. Do it scared. Do it shy. Hell, do it right now. Like don't give up either. And it's just, it's just a lot. <laughs> I don't, I feel like I'm talking your head up. It's, it's really a lot. Um, but my next order is from Shayla. This is my home girl. Um, y'all probably don't really watch my TikTok like that. I don't think y'all do. Okay, I did get rid of that one. Um, I need another bubble mailer. But yeah, y'all probably don't watch my TikTok like that. But yeah, I did a promo for her for her candles. She sells manifestation candles. Smell so good. I freaking love them. Um, she ordered every <laughs> she ordered every single pair of lashes from me. She ordered spoiled snob, high sedity bougie, and conceited. So let me show y'all each one. Okay, girl. Conceited is sold out. That's another thing. The power of TikTok sold Conceited out. No, I'm not. <laughs> I haven't restocked her yet, so please don't cuss me out. Um, but y'all seem bougie already. I'm gonna just keep showing y'all. So that's bougie, my freaking fave. Like, who who don't want bougie? Spoiled, spoiled isn't my best seller or isn't a best seller. I don't know why. Like. I freaking love Spoiled. I low-key want to discontinue Spoiled um, and just use her for like maybe PR or like put her in like a cute bundle that I'll come up with. But yeah, I freaking love Spoiled. Y'all are tripping. Spoiled is in stock on the site as well. So is Bougie. Um, I am low in stock on lashes though. I'm not going to lie to y'all. As y'all clearly saw. Um, this is High Sadiddy. Per high sedity looks a little bit different than it did when I first got her, but it's fine. Everybody's loving how she looks. Hell, I love how she looks. She's different in a good way. She's more voluptuous. She's more um just raw, just real out there, just real like attention grabbing. Like if I was to walk down the street and see somebody wearing that, I'm like, girl, you look good. Okay, period. You look good. Um, here's snob. Snob didn't, you know, change, but I love Snob. Snob is definitely cute. She gives what she's supposed to. And then Conceited. Now, I was upset about the new Conceited. I'm not going to lie. I felt like she wasn't as, like, flared out and natural looking as she used to be. But, girl, Conceited now still gives. The girls are still loving her. And Conceited is still a bestseller. Um... I actually sold out of Conceited on live one day. Um, Shayla actually was the last person to purchase Conceited. Um, and when she had bought all of them and it said, you know, Conceited was out of stock and I put a picture here. I was like, wow, like, y'all, <laughs> y'all fuck with me the long way. Like for me to rebrand, you know, barely promote my pre-orders on such a short notice, even though I had all the time in the world to do it, for me to just be in my own way and then just to see everything unfold and unravel and everything just, you know, come out how it was supposed to. It was just like, damn, Nae, like, you can really do this. You just need to get out of your own way and just put in the work. Like, I'm not going to lie to y'all. Sometimes with me being an entrepreneur and working from home, I feel lazy. I feel like I have a lot of time on my hands. I don't like putting myself on a schedule because I feel like, I feel like it's going to turn into work. So, like, I'm more of, like, a free spirit, like, I'll work on it when I'm ready to type of person. Um, but what I have been doing is putting my goals out for the week, writing my weekly goals. And, you know, what if I see something that needs to be accomplished this week, 
um, and I want to accomplish it in the same week, I'm going to go to my board, pick out something and start working on it. Like I've been on a schedule for YouTube. I've been on a schedule for TikTok. I've been slacking when it comes to packaging my orders, which, you know, that's not like me. I just need to get back into the groove and the swing of things, which will happen. But as an entrepreneur, you need to make sure that, you know, before you go outside, because y'all seen, I've been outside, girl. I've been outside. And I, I, when I said I was outside, I meant I was outside, girl, okay? I don't know about y'all, but I've been outside. And um, I need to make sure that my work is done before I go outside, okay? Period. Because I really, really hate knowing that I have stuff to do. And I could have done it before I went outside. So now I'm outside thinking about like, damn, like I could have packaged these orders. I could have, you know, posted a YouTube video today or edited one and I'm it's still not done. Like we're gonna get to the we're gonna get to it, okay? Um just make sure that you have discipline. Um, especially if you're working from home, which is why I can't wait for this little shift in my life that's coming up that I can't I cannot wait to tell y'all about like I know I keep saying y'all probably curious as to what it is but I cannot wait till I it happens because girl I just know once it does happen it's really up from here for me um but yeah so I don't have <sighs> when you are buying inventory or supplies for your business please make sure you know your measurements I already knew that my measurements for my bubble mailers but I just couldn't think of it so I have two sizes of bubble mailers. I think six, I'm not even gonna tell y'all the measurements cause I can't freaking think. They'll be down below in the description box of my Amazon store. Um, but basically what I'm trying to say is so for five lashes, when the girls buy five lashes, I don't have um, bubble mailers that fit them. I have to actually go to the post office and get them um, or pay for them. So what I'm gonna do is here's her order. I'm gonna put it right over here next to Gisela's order with her um with her packing slip I'm gonna put it right there I'm gonna put her spoolies on top which I need to buy more of I'll put her spoolies on top with a business card and then we're just gonna leave it like that for right now um until tomorrow because tomorrow is when I'm gonna ship these orders off I just wanted them packaged up tonight because we're outside this weekend and I'll be damned if my work is not done before I go outside. So, um, yeah. <laughs> and here's Naya, the uh, giveaway winner. She ordered spoiled. Um, I also let them, even though the lash was free, I let them pick because it's just like, well, if it's already free, I might as well let them pick it out. So, and like I told you, I have to handwrite her label. So her stuff will, um, will be over next to my girl Shayla. Real cute. You know what I mean? Real freaking cute. I need to get some business supplies. I'm not going to lie. I need, I have so much planned for Brightway and I haven't executed anything. And it's just like, girl, what the fuck are you waiting for? Like, <laughs> What are you waiting for, sis? Like, I don't, I'm confused. But it's okay, because we're going to get it done. We're going to get it done. Um, I'm going to, I have to figure out and differentiate what content will be posted on here um, as far as entrepreneur, entrepreneurial content is concerned. Because like I told y'all, Bryce White has a channel now. Um, so I kind of want to put my entrepreneur stuff more towards that channel. But, you know, leak some stuff over here too, because it's the main channel, girl, like, if you're not a part of the main thing, and why are you, huh? Like, get into it. Okay, get into it. So this is from my records. Okay, and that's her packaging slip. Y'all, let me tell y'all about, <laughs> let me tell y'all about my best friend, right? So y'all know my best friend. She's a hairstylist, you know, at Diamond Links. I'll link her stuff down below in the um, in the uh, description box. Y'all know she's done my hair. I'll post some of the times she's done my hair. So um, one day I was outside getting my DoorDash. Um, I know this was Memorial Day, actually. So um, we didn't spend Memorial Day together, I think, because she had some, I think she either had to work or she was doing some stuff with her family. I don't know. Um, I went outside to, you know, DoorDash, and I was just on FaceTime with her. And I had noticed, like, you know, you know, if you're on your phone and you have Shopify, 
um and people order from like paypal or like or when they just order in general and you have your business email connected to your shopify you'll get the email of what they how much their purchase was their name and what they purchased before you get the shopify ringtone right so i'm looking like okay i got an order period like i'm excited y'all why was it from my best friend it was from my best friend and it just it made me want to cry i'm not gonna lie it made me want to cry um, because none of my friends, I'm not even gonna lie to you, none of my friends that I've had in my life ever, well, as long as I've had my business, I've had my business since 2019, it's 2021 now. Well, I started last year, but I was already selling lashes in 2019, if that makes sense. Um, they've never supported me. Like I've always given them stuff for their birthday. They never said, oh, hey, let me purchase from you um nothing like that you know and granted i don't really care about you know the whole friends not supporting me shit that never bothered me um i learned to get my 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 feelings out of business from the jump which is why i feel like i'm so nonchalant when it comes to that and i hate seeing that on facebook like oh my best friend don't support me shut the fuck up she's not supposed to like your your friends are not obligated your friends and family are not obligated to support you granted support from them is great but you don't always need that to be successful like the most successful people in the world i'm pretty sure didn't even have parents or friends that were willing to support them and now they're looking at them all rich and famous and shit like damn like i really should have supported you when you were down and out and now they try to support who cares okay you don't go into business to give discounts to family and friends. You don't go into business to please them. You don't go into business for your family and friends, period. Please get out of that mindset as a business owner. It's mad annoying when I see that all over the place. Like, it's really not that deep. Y'all be taking it too far and really overthinking it, which is why y'all are missing out on the money. Because y'all care about the people who should just support you just because. Like, I was not expecting my best friend to shop with me because she had already told me, you know, because she was my brand ambassador before, um... We became best friends and I told her we need to do a story time on that. Like we need to do some content together. But whenever this hoe is not busy and she recuperates, we're going to do some videos. I promise because I keep asking me and it's not me, it's her. <laughs> I'm trying to let her breathe and live and work because, you know, she got a life too. And so do I. Um, but, you know, she had already said like we had a conversation one day. She was like, yeah, you know, I don't really wear 25 millimeter lashes. Like I'm more of a 3D lash girl. Like I like them real wispy. Like I kind of like them looking like 3D, like with the drama, but I want them in 3D. I would have never known that if she had never said that. And I didn't take offense to it because like I said, like, you know, she still supports me. She still shares my posts. You know, she she does a lot for me in my business. She's given me so much great advice, especially when it comes to my rebrand, like, Honestly, if it wasn't for her, I don't know, like where Brad Sway would have ended up this time with the rebrand because I was so nervous. And again, I had my own foot in my mouth. I was in my own way and she helped me get out of it. Um, and then, girl, she tipped me. She tipped me. She Apple paid me some money. I'm not going to tell, tell you how much she Apple paid me. She sent me this big ass tip during <laughs> in text messages. And I'm like, well, you really love me. Like i just the amount of love and support my best friend shows me for my business and what i show for her her business is so unmatched like i've never had a friend in my life ever that has matched my energy that has supported me that has been an entrepreneur period like i i love having entrepreneur friends don't get me wrong you don't have to be an entrepreneur in my life to for me to be friends with you but i just love having entrepreneur friends because we can bounce ideas off of each other we can we could do this we could do that and it just it's just a match so bitch if you're watching this video girl you already know i fucking love you i love you a long way yesterday was national best friends day and i have penned that bitch a long ass message like i'm really a sucker out here <laughs> like i'm really actually nice to my <laughs> i'm actually nice to my friends because if you really know me for real y'all know i mean as hell i'm not gonna sit here and lie to you i mean as shit like i don't like people i don't like bitches and bitches don't like me and that's fine but at the same time I just, I just, I have friends now. <laughs> but hey, girl, if you're watching this, you know I love you the long way. She also got conceited, which I love for her. Because I know she's, listen, out of all my brand ambassadors, my best friend, she took the best picks. Oh, and this like the bougie? Oh, she, oh, these are bougie bougie. These are so cute. I cannot wait to see her in them because my best friend pipes her own face as well. Um... And she does a very good job. 
So, you know, just packaging up an order from her, it, it means a lot to me. It really does. I'm not going to lie. Like, I never expected her to shop with me because, like I told y'all, she don't even like 25 millimeter lashes. But speaking of that, um, oh, let me put her pack and slip in here. Um, I will be dropping 3D Mink Lashes, girl. I'm trying to, like I said, I need to um, pull my books out and get to planning because we got some we got some planning to do. Like, the girls want 3D Mink. I'm finna give it to y'all. Um, and like I said, um, it's just everything is a process, girl. Like, I swear. It's a mother freaking process. But, um... Thank you, bitch, for shopping with me. You know, I fucking love you, girl. I love your entire existence. But this is her order. It says, thank you, Sierra Brassway. Um, Her pack is slipped right there. And then I have one more order. Her name is Renata. And that's another thing that I love about... Um, that I love about my rebrand. Like, I have nothing but new customers. Like... Granted, I have some repeat. Oh, no. I don't think I have any repeating right now. Like, I have all new customers. Like, and I freaking love that. Like, I, though, the Facebook post that, you know, I had went viral under a couple weeks ago. They kind of, you know, messed with my head a little bit. Like, yo, like, people really might not pay this price. And that's really how I felt last year this time, you know. Because our anniversary for Brad's Way is coming up. Um, and I haven't planned anything for that. It's just a lot that i need to get my life together for and it's just like you know to see people paying my new prices and to fall in love with the rebrand and now when you see brett's way you know neither brett is behind that it just means the world to me because when i tell y'all i really took the time to you know figure this out to redo everything to really put my heart into it and to spend as to not to not invest as much money as I did going in the first time. I spent three bands, um, three for three almost four bands coming into this shit to barely get any of that back, and to now to start out with a quarter, not even a quarter, more than less than that now, and see a return on my investment. I'm happy. Um, I just need to pick shit up, get it together, cause it's listen the train, <laughs> babe. The train is moving. <laughs> The train is moving, okay? And I need to be on that train. I need to keep it the fuck pushing and moving. Um, but yes, um, I'm trying to see why Renata's why she don't have uh, another box. I don't know, but I'm gonna package her stuff off camera. Um, and then I'm gonna come back with the shipping labels and just close the video out because I feel like I've been talking a little bit of place. Um <laughs> Y'all know how I do, okay? Y'all know how I do. Um, but let me go package um, Renata's package off camera. Thank you, girl, for shopping with me if you're watching this. Um, let me package her stuff off camera, um, add their shipping labels to their packages, and then I'm going to come back and, you know, we're going we gonna to talk our shit and close out this video, girl, okay? All right, y'all. So your girl is the big. I look crazy, girl. Um, all my orders are packaged up. Um, I just have one extra lash that I did not need because I did um correctly package all my orders I had just got scared because one of the orders was telling me like you put the wrong one in here which is why you have one left over girl I opened it no I didn't I put the correct lashes in that package but it's to the poly mailer it's okay I'm gonna um fix it and redo it but yeah all my orders are laid out right here um I just have to put the addresses on them so again thank y'all for shopping with me um, I hope y'all enjoy the chit chat, get ready with me. Well, not get ready with me, but chit chat, talk with me. Um, I hope it was informative. I hope, you know, I could help somebody out today. I just hope that y'all enjoyed it. You know, when I talk and package orders, it is so hard to multitask. Like, I'm trying, but just let me know how a bitch did. <laughs> because I feel like I talked a lot, but it was a lot of, like, valuable information that y'all needed to, you know get so i just want to make sure that my girls had got that because the like we're an informative channel over here so um thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope um it was informative like i said i hope you took something from it um comment down below what you have taken from this video oh and for my 2k um giveaway for um youtube before i leave 
I will be um, giving out a free pair of lashes, girl, yes. I'm giving out another free pair of lashes. Um, and the rules are you need to be following me. You need to be subscribed to me, of course. Um, you need to be following my me on TikTok. And you also need to follow me um, on Instagram as well, girl. So literally all you need to do to enter is to follow me on here. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on um, TikTok. And um, then comment your name down below. Um, comment your username so I can put y'all in like a little wheel join, like a little funnel join. Um, so yeah, those are the rules. I'll put the rules down below in the description box below so you guys can enter. Um, the giveaway will stop. Today's what? It'll stop next week sometime. I'll put down below in the description box when the giveaway will end. Um, but yeah, girl, so if y'all want a free pair of lashes courtesy of Brett'sway, girl, I need you to go follow those three rules. Um, drop your name down below and get it popping because I, I can't wait to see another brat, you know, slay by me, period. <laughs> um, but yeah, y'all, make sure y'all go follow me on social media. Neither by it on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Nightview on uh, Snapchat. And make sure y'all go follow Bratsway because it's the Bratsway or No Way Girl. And I will see y'all in my next video.